An update on I-84. It was closed for some time. It is back open now. It was closed because a driver struck and killed a man this morning. That happened while that man was trying to cross I-84 at the 205 interchange. And Portland police say the driver stayed at the scene, is cooperating with the investigation. Let's switch to Joel Jones, digging deeper into exactly what led up to this crash. Joel, what have you learned? Well, Portland police say they're still working to determine why that man was crossing, but they say he was not associated with any vehicle. And as we saw camps near the crash site and frankly all around the interstate, I asked what's being done to prevent people from walking on to our most dangerous corridors. People are getting injured. They're getting they're getting killed out there in the freeways in here, and we've got to do what we can to try to put a stop to this. After a man was killed while crossing Interstate 84, the Oregon Department of Transportation says they plan to use a portion of funding granted by the Oregon legislature to build fences and find other ways to stop people from walking onto the freeways. While Portland police are still investigating what caused the man to cross, ODOT spokesman Don Hamilton says camps continue to pose a danger. Well, the camps along the freeways are especially dangerous because people are running across the freeways, oftentimes at night. It's really, really dangerous. Hamilton says they plan to implement more landscaping deterrents like these rocks here under the steel bridge. But despite that illegal camping notice behind me, as you can see, several people are still camping. In this particular area, because I have to be in close proximity to the feeding stations. Ty says some of the more dangerous places to camp are also close to essential services, telling us the city could do more to improve lighting and infrastructure, but those living on the streets bear their own responsibility. One is out of my control, like what the city chooses to do with its money, but I need to take my life more seriously, uh, given the statistical facts Last year, the city saw a record-breaking 69 traffic deaths in 2023, with ODA and city data showing 24 of the people killed were pedestrians, half of which were people experiencing homelessness. And practice safety and not just throw caution to the wind because it can cost you permanently. Now, two years ago, the city passed a ban on camping near high crash corridors. Today, I reached out to the mayor and Peabot to ask who is enforcing this and how, but we did not hear back. To date, Portland police say there have been 27 traffic related deaths this year so far, just one shy of the 28 reported this time last year. Reporting live in downtown Portland, I'm Joel Jones, Coin6 News. Yeah, so it looks like we're on record for another record setting year when it comes to pedestrian deaths. Joel, thank you.